Okay, so I've had a lot of questions on the rear air suspension on my three quarter ton truck. Um, you know, why'd I get it? What's the difference? Can I tell the difference in the drive and the ride between the two? Um, I've driven the off-road package trucks that do not have their suspension. And I would say on the highway, it's pretty much the same. You, you don't notice any difference. Uh, those trucks ride just as well. The only time that I can tell you that I feel difference is like going over speed bump in Lowe's parking lot or going over potholes, stuff like that. I feel like the air suspension actually just takes it a little bit better. Um, but as far as highway driving, I, I wouldn't say that I notice a, a ton of difference between the two. So today I'm gonna do some video and we're gonna hook up the trailer. I've got my tractor. I've got a, a 22 foot, uh, 12,000 pound ton pull trailer and gonna show you how the air suspension work, what some of the features are, and uh, do a little pull on it, we'll take it down the highway, and uh, just kinda let y'all see for yourselves if it's a feature that's some, something you wanna buy or something that you don't need. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm backed up to my trailer. And if you notice, of course it's level, it's where, when I unhook from it, I just run the jack down, I touch the ground, and I push the bed lowering button in the truck, and I drive out from under the trailer. So, where it sits, the, the trailer is pretty level. And so, let's run up in the cab here. It's a little bit windy today. We've got a norther coming in. Get in the truck. Shut the door. And if you look down here, I have a bed lowering. I actually added it to my screen at the bottom. Those vents are blowing on the microphone, sorry. If you look, it says lowering in my dash. Okay, it says bed lowering complete. It takes maybe, maybe seven to eight seconds. I'd say less than 10 seconds for it to do the, to do the deal. Now, if you look at the trailer, haven't jacked it or anything, it's ready to back up, so. Get back in the truck. Shift to reverse. We'll turn the rear park sensors off so we don't have to listen to that. And if you look right there, sorry, we got the sun in us, but you can see I'm lined up on it. We're gonna ease back right there. And then what we're gonna do is I can hit the bed lowering button again you'll see that it says raising. Okay. Let's get out and take a look at that. Okay. So it's perfectly hitched up. If you look at my gooseneck here, no weight on the tongue. I can pull the pin and fold the jack. No jacking required. I don't know if I edit this out or not, but let's go ahead and hook up the safety chains. I do have a BMW uh, hitch. This is a class five. It is rated for 14,500, and it's rated for 1,450 pounds of ton weight. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time. Okay, so we're hitched up. No jacking, makes it very simple. Easy to hook the trailer up. All right, so let's pull up. both of the tilt pins on the trailer. This is a tilt deck trailer. Basically we flip those two levers. Walk back here to the back of the trailer, put the foot on it. Push it to the ground. So now we're ready to load the tractor up.
it is a tight squeeze with this tracker on this trailer between the two fenders. I flex those fenders a little bit here and there, but they seem to survive. Okay, the trailer just broke over. Straighten up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me flip this around. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna set this, this camera up on a tripod on the rear axle. I've loaded the tractor on the trailer, but I haven't driven it forward and put weight on the truck yet. I want y'all to actually see as I'm pulling the tractor up, how the auto air suspension will level itself out and it'll stay level as I'm loading it. This tractor probably weighs close to 6,000, seven, and then the loader's probably another 800, so I would say we're probably seven, 7,500, if I'm guessing, and then I would say the, the finishing more on the back's about another 1,000, so trailer's probably another 2,500, 2,700, so we're right there at probably close to 10,000 pounds on this rig and probably about a thousand pounds of ton weight. So let me get this set up on the tripod over the axle and uh, we'll move this tractor forward and backwards and let y'all take a look how that, that works. Okay, so now we're set up and the truck's running. I'm sorry, we got wind, got some noise, but I want y'all to see how all this works in action. Got the tractor over the trailer axles right now. I'm actually gonna pick the loader up and I'm gonna bring the tractor up pretty heavy on the front. And I want y'all to see how this actuates and picks itself up. So let me get up there and get that done and y'all watch. All right, so we got the tractor loaded up, got it tied down ready to go some of the features I'll show you is the you have the alternate trailer height and what that means is your truck on an air suspension vehicle where you have about two and a half inches of rake and that means the back end sits up about two and a half inches on a, on a standard vehicle on an air suspension you only have three quarter inch rake because it auto levels so from the front to the back it's only three quarters of an inch if you want your truck to be level you know I have a lift on mine but it doesn't matter you hit the alternate trailer height and you'll see it says lowering. So it drops the back end exactly level with the front end. So it'll drop that three quarter of an inch in the back. Um, I actually have a lift on mine with the air suspension and mine sits level in standard height. So I don't have to worry about running the alternate trailer height. So before we pull, We've got our trailer brake control settings. We can go through there. So our gain was down to two. I was pulling a little trailer before. We'll go ahead and turn the gain back up to about eight. You can see that functions. Um, then you go down here and you have your exhaust brake. You have the full on or the auto. Auto means it starts to kick in when you push the brake pedal. And the full on means as soon as you let off the gas pedal, the brake starts to work. Of course, we're gonna hit tow haul. See that turns on. And we're going to leave the rear parking sensors off because we got a trailer on it. So we're ready to go. Okay. This is your 9HO engine, 68 RFE transmission. The truck has 35 inch tires. And I'm pulling about 10,000 pounds.
probably about quarter throttle, not pushing it hard. It's going plenty fast. gas plug brake. You can see the downshifts and the exhaust brake working. Okay, so if you look at the truck, the tractor weight on it, it's level with their suspension. Okay, so my understanding is this is a three quarter ton, which you know it has the, instead of having the cooling centered, it has the airbags completely in the back. So what I understand is on the one ton trucks is they remove some leaves out of the spring pack and make it actually ride a little bit better. And it has all the same features as this does. Um, it just has the leaf springs plus the airbags. So, you can still drop them down to hook the trailers up, stuff like that. Try to cover most of it in the video. If you've got any questions or comments, drop them below. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button down in the right-hand corner. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.